another very frequently asked question is about uh, inner classes so most of the times the students feel that inner classes are not very useful and it confuses them so i'm bringing another video to uh, give few examples about the inner classes so i've uh, got few examples so the purpose of inner classes uh, so what inner classes are so when you have an outer class you're just creating a class definition and inside that you're defining another class okay so that class which is present in the scope of an outside external class that is called as an inner class and in salesforce uh, apex the inner classes are only instance inner classes there is there's no concept of static inner classes like java so here uh, we can only use the inner classes using the instances and when we have to call the inner class uh, methods so we can only call using the instance of the inner class okay all right so let's see a few examples so uh, let's say if you need to create a visual flows page where uh, you need to display a list of accounts opportunities and also list of contacts okay they might be related or might not be related but you need to display all the three lists in one single page okay and the controller needs to return the list of all the three uh, objects in uh, one return okay so one method is supposed to return all these three lists okay but by default it's not possible because you can only return one uh, it could be a list or map or any collection so you can only return one okay so that could be a list of either account or opportunities or contacts so altogether it's not possible but using the inner class concept it is possible so it's mostly uh, called as a wrapper class so we are going to combine uh, all the three lists in uh, instance members of an inner class and then return the class instance okay so the whole class instance will be returned and the instance members will be list of accounts list of opportunities and list of contacts okay okay so let's check out an example i'm just going to create a, a class for you guys so so that i can demonstrate this so let's go ahead and create a new class so i'll call it as inner class demo one okay so this is uh, the basic class definition and if i create another class inside the scope of this inner class demo one that will be called as an inner class okay and inner class we cannot uh, create a static class it, the, so in java we have static uh, classes non static classes inner classes but in in apex we don't have any static inner classes we only have instance inner classes okay so if we create a class okay so i will call it as maybe data wrapper class so this becomes an inner class okay and i can uh, create some member variables in this inner class and i uh, so it will be combined in one instance so whenever i create an instance of this data wrapper class so all the members will have value and it will be returned in one single instance okay all right so let's go ahead and create an uh, constructor of this data wrapper class so i'll call it as public and we don't need any return type because it will make it as a method so i'll use the same name as the class and so this is my constructor so the constructor is supposed to not supposed to uh, receive any parameters so it's a default constructor but here in the constructor i'm going to fetch the details of list account and opportunities and uh, we need some member variables so i'm going to create a list of account so i'll call it as account list and we'll create a list of opportunity that will be opportunity list okay and i'll create another list of contact so it will be a contact list okay and i will initialize all these uh, variables all these lists using the constructor okay so i'll just call list 
account list equals to and I'll do a query so select name ID and maybe owner ID I can put uh, industry and yeah from account okay similar query will do for all the other objects as well so I'll call it opportunity list equals to select name of the opportunity ID of the opportunity stage name uh, yeah that's enough from opportunity okay so this kind of question is also generally asked in interviews like how how you how you're going to make one cons uh, one controller return uh, multiple lists if you have an extension or if you have a, a custom controller and then you want to display the list of all the maybe multiple types of records on a vf page or maybe in any uh, lightning web page then how how do you do that so how you will make a constructor to return controller to return multiple uh, lists okay so it could be any any list it doesn't need to be high and to be uh, this is just a demo okay so that's why i'm just giving a basic list okay as per your business requirement you can uh, get the list of whatever uh, data you want and if you need any any uh, customization in the data also you can you can add some conditions okay based on the business requirement that you have okay so let's add contact list as well okay uh, similar query simple select statement name id uh, maybe i'll just make it as first name and last name id uh, what else maybe i can give account id okay from contact okay okay that's it so my inner class is ready and the, my wrapper class is ready so this wrapper class uh, is going to wrap all these three uh, lists together and if i create an instance it's going to uh, create an instance of this inner class it's just going to return me these values okay so now i can access this inner class from my parent class or an outer class i will just uh, create a method here I'll just create a method public static uh, and the return type okay so I have to create a return type also because it's going to return an instance of data wrapper class so the this is a user defined data type this is an object oriented programming concept that we are we are actually creating a data type so data wrapper class is like a data type how we have list map set okay so here we have uh, multiple lists wrapped into one so this is like a user defined data type that we we created okay so the return type will be data wrapper class okay and we can maybe get get list okay and we are just going to create a new instance of this and return it so we can just say return new data wrapper matching the constructor signature so the constructor signature of this inner class is also matching okay so it's just going to return a new instance of this okay so let's just try to uh, do a quick run of this So before that let me just give you a dry run what exactly we've done so this is my outer class or the parent class so this is an outer class okay and here we have a member uh, method of uh, this outer class which is going to give me an instance of the inner class 
okay so whatever data or state will be there in the instance class member variables that same state will be present in the instance and i'm just calling it okay so now coming to the inner class the inner class is a data wrapper class so here we have three lists one is account list opportunity list and contact list each list is initialized in the constructor with the list of records and whenever i create an instance of this data wrapper i'm going to get initialized member variables with this is the default data that will be present in the these lists okay and the method is actually so you can use this method as a controller in any in in uh, any vf page or any lwc component and just return this data wrapper instance and from there you can again segregate it or just extract the account list opportunity list and contact list and then you can get the data okay all right so that is my outer class so this is my inner class okay and here we have a constructor this is an inner class constructor and this is a outer class static method okay okay if you don't want to use an a constructor you can also use an initialization block so this is an instance initi initialization block so this also can be used and uh, to just initialize the uh, variables okay this is also possible so now when i go ahead and call this uh, static method so this static method is going to create an instance of this inner class and the values are already will be initialized and we'll get the data so let's say if i call inner class demo one and as it's a static method so we don't need any instance so we'll just uh, call get list okay so now when i call it so i'm going to get all these values okay but uh, i will not be able to see it uh, because it will be uh, it's not displayed it's just uh, called so what i will do is i will just uh, wrap it in a system.debug log just to show you guys so that we can produce some output okay so let me execute it and let's go to a debug log and let's check it out what is the output okay so there are other other uh, uses also also of the inner classes i'm going to show one more use of inner class okay this is a very simple wrapper class that i have created so we can actually go to debug log and check out the output So this method can be called from any uh, VF page or any LWC component or a lightning component as I told you earlier. So this you can use it as a controller, expose it using Aura enabled met, uh, Aura enabled uh, decorator okay. and then you can access the data and as you see this is also a, a secure way of returning it, secure way of transferring the data. Here these uh, member variables are not uh, exposed to the outside world okay you can only access it using this static member uh, static method okay so this is also encapsulation okay so we got some log here uh, yeah the time is correct so let me go ahead and check it out okay so my queries are called and it's returning uh, opportunity list account list okay so the complete uh, data is here so let me just put it so that we can check it out 
okay so if you see we have all the data so this is my data wrapper instance and this is starting of the account list from here so we have accounts all these are accounts now then here we have contact list uh, wrapped together and we have opportunity list so there are more but as the debug log will not show all of them okay there are more number of records so once you uh, get the data in the controller uh, from the controller in the vf page you can iterate over it okay and then you can display it the way you want okay all right so coming back to another example so a uh, lot of times uh, when when working with web services we are supposed to send some data okay or we are supposed to re receive some data so that data exchange is uh, always most of the times it's for in the form of json sometimes it's also in xml format but let's say we have a json uh, a json data so let's say if in our salesforce org if account information is saved or if opportunity uh, sorry if the if the address is updated and then we have to pass the same address information over to another integration okay let's say if we have another external system which saves our uh, let's say it's a legacy system we are not using it but just to keep the salesforce system and the other legacy system in sync we are updating the information okay okay so in that case so as we know that the address field is a compound field uh, the address field contains uh, sub fields called uh, street state postal code and country okay so just an address field has more information i mean it has sub fields like street city and uh, postal code and and country okay so this is an ideal example so you can combine all these information of street state so let's say you cannot re uh, return each of them one by one like street city state it will take more more call outs okay so instead of that if you want to send it in one shot you can combine all of them in one instance of and wrap it in a in, in one inner class and then return the instance of that inner class okay and that will go in one single call out okay or in one single web service okay so let's let's uh, try to do this so it will be in some kind of uh, json format okay json formats so we will use a serializer which will serialize the json okay uh, once we create an instance with these information we will serialize it using a json object uh, json class dot serialize okay so that it will become as a json format in, in some kind of this format okay so that it will be in the body so it's supposed to be sent in the request body to the uh, to the target okay so let's come back to our class so we can we can make use of the same class so i'm not going to like make exactly web service or a call out i'm just going to show you a, a method okay just we'll create a function and we'll just demonstrate there okay so let me create another inner class okay so let me create another inner class so all i have to do is just say public and say class and my inner class will be uh, combined address okay and then we will have some variables uh, let's say i'll keep all of them as string so string street and let's say city and uh, city uh, state country postal code okay so similar thing nothing uh, different so here we'll create a constructor so i'll just say public combined address which is the name of the class and i will actually pass the parameters here okay so whenever we will be creating an instance we will be actually sending the information through the parameters of the constructor okay and that will be initialized to each of these uh, member variables okay so let's say string i will say str okay and string maybe ci 
okay and uh, string c or u n t or n t r y okay and string code okay so now i'll just initialize this dot street equals to str okay similarly we'll initialize the others as well this dot state equals to okay so we need state also equals to dry then we have this dot code postal code equals to code okay so all the variables are initialized so now so my inner class is ready okay so whenever an instance of this is created using this constructor It should be initialized okay so let's see okay this is fine public find address okay missed one comma here okay and they should fix it so my inner class is ready so now i will just create a con controller and will initialize so let's say this controller is getting the data from uh, from external system or maybe we are supposed to send the data from here to an external system okay either ways it should work okay so let's see so we'll just create a public static method uh, get address okay and from here i'll just create a new instance let's say i got the uh, address already and uh, from the external system or maybe I, the user is inputting uh, input is uh, in uh, is doing the input from the web page or maybe a vf page and it's coming down to our controller and we are passing down so let's say here we will uh, receive the same parameters so i'm just going to use the same parameters here copy it and you can paste it here so all these parameters we are going to pass to this new instance so all i have to do is just create a new instance of the inner class so i'll say combined address i will just say maybe addr equals to new combined address and in the uh, constructor we are going to pass all this data so let's say the street is let's say abc street and city could be New York and then country will be USA and we have state I don't know 
So code could be any code. Okay. All right. So now the instance is created. So we have to serialize this. So if I go ahead and do a system dot debug of this instance, let's say I pass ADDR. So we'll show you what what the output is. So it will just be like a simple object. Okay. Now we have to create a JSON out of it, and then we can use it. Okay. So I will use JSON object. So I'll say JSON dot serialize. Okay, and I can pass the address here. So return type I have to declare here. So here also it's going to return. As it's returning a uh, JSON dot serialize, so whatever we serialize, it's going to serialize, and the output will be in string. So we are going to return a string. So that is why we have to use the return type as string. Okay. So here we can use a return, and we will send the data from here. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do a system dot debug after the serialize also, so that I can show you guys what will be the output. So let's say I'll say JSON dot serialize. Or I can actually create a variable string output data equals to JSON dot serialize and here I'll pass the address information. And then I'm going to do a system dot debug output data, and I'm going to return the output data. Okay, so my this inner class is ready, and also the method is ready, which is going to serialize, and we can check what is the output. Okay, so I'm going to go to anonymous block. And uh, we don't need a system dot debug. So I'll remove it. So inner class demo one. As this is also a static method, so I'm going to call it using the class name. And let's say I got the data from the uh, user interface, and I'm passing it in the con uh, in the controller. Okay, and using the method I'm calling it. Okay. So here actually I hard coded the data. It shouldn't be hard coded. This hard coded data I got it from the UI for example. And then here I just have to pass that. I'll just have to say str ci cntry uh, state and then code. Okay, so whatever we receive in this method. We'll just pass it on to the constructor, and we just have to make sure that uh, the constructor is the parameters are in the same uh, sequence. Okay, so we have str, we have city as we copied, uh, so it should be in the same sequence, or else we'll get uh, different data. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and call it and let's check out the log. Oh, sorry, my bad, I didn't save the class, so let me save it and let's call it again okay so let's check out our debug log okay so we'll go for the latest one okay so we got the street and it is initialized in the inner class it is getting initialized in the inner class so if we check the sequence of execution, so anonymous block is executed from here and we got some data heap allocation and all is happening. It's fine. One statement is getting executed. Uh, all this is okay. So we got the inner class demo and this is being uh, used this inner class. So this class got loaded and this method got loaded from the class using the instance. and uh, we called the method get address we passed all these value 
to it so all this value is initialized from here okay now that and all is happening fine now my combined address uh, is called so okay this and all is fine okay so this is my combined so debug log we have one here and one debug log is here so line number 17 and line number 19 so one is 17 one is 19 so here we just uh, uh, did a system.debug on a simple instance and here after serializing we did one system.debug so, so let me pull this up so this is just the combined address instance okay so this is not a, a json format so this is just an instance where we have the data initialized okay and then we have the json object so this is what the json object looks like after serializing so this is after serializing So now this looks like a JSON object. Okay, so this is how you can actually go go ahead and use an inner class. This is a two very basic simple examples of uh, inner classes. So mostly it's used as a wrapper class. It can also be used as a data type for other purposes as well. Okay. So hope you might have uh, learned something out of it. If you have a better approach, you can always uh, comment and let me know of any better approach. Okay, thank you.